Hello guys, welcome back to In 5 Minutes. In this presentation, we are going to see automatic test pattern generation. That is nothing but ATPG. Now why ATPG is required? For that, we need to understand the working of the test pattern generation and the fault detection for a particular circuit. We have already seen the number of type of faults and the pattern generation for faults. Okay. Now let us start with the very basic circuit. So here there is a one circuit is consist of two NAND gates and one AND gate to which the inputs are let us say A, B, C and D. These are the inputs and finally I have got the output. Now for the test vector for this input four inputs there will be definitely 16 combinations will be there. Okay and uh, to test the fault detection or the to test defaults in this circuit uh, let us say the first test vector what i got here is 1 0 1 0 so this is nothing but my test vector so this i will name it as the test vector first test vector for which i'll take the output now for this test vector the output is starting from the first NAND gate input is 0 1 so AND operation is 0 and negation of AND that is NAND so output is 1 here okay so here it will be 1 1 so output for this AND gate is definitely 1 I will name this as F okay and this one is E and the final output is up. Okay, so for the second NAND gate, the input combination is 1 from the AND gate, and this D is directly shorted to the input of AND, so it will be 0, and the final output is 1. Now, if the final output is 1, okay, uh, let us try to find out default detections. So, if I say D is 0 here. So if what I'm saying is if D input is stuck at 1 then what will happen if D is stuck at 1 the input combinations will be changed to the 0 will be changed to 1 this one will be shorted here and 1 into 1 the output will be 0 hence therefore output will be equal to 0 okay so fault will be there for d stuck at 0 so at the same time what will be the value of e e will be equal to b dot c bar because it is connected to it is output of the NAND gate where f is equal to a and with e a into now what are the test pattern generations uh, why it is needed okay to determine the faults if we want to test the whole circuit what we need to do we have to check it for all the eight combinations okay in which uh, starting from a so this will be a stuck at 0 a stuck at 1 after that we need to test it for b stuck at 0 b stuck at 1 then we go for C stuck at 0 C stuck at 1 so this is how we need to solve the circuit for all the 8 combinations finally I have here D stuck at 0 comma D stuck at 1 so all the faults cannot be detected by a test vector this is a single test vector so all the faults cannot be detected here so if you have n nodes how many nodes i have here a b c d these are the four nodes which are the basic nodes and after in the new in between the circuits e and f is also there so in total i have here four and two six nodes so if you have n nodes if n nodes are there therefore there will be two n faults just like this 
for all the nodes there will be each node will be stuck at 0 or each node will be stuck at 1 it might be possible that e will be stuck to 0 or e will be stuck to 1 here the value of e is 1 but if I say e is stuck at 0 the value may be different for the final output so there will be total faults are 2n okay and how many number of simulations you will be requiring is 2n by w or w is nothing but the number of test vectors you are going to perform but the total number of simulations will be required 2n plus 1 so these are the 2n are the faults so if you will go for 2n plus 1 so this plus 1 is nothing but fault free detection or fault free testing okay so this is all about the test pattern generation for a circuit